Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Jennings and I'm a software engineer and game designer um, and I wanted to walk you through a little bit of my day-to-day -day, uh, life in today's uh, day in the life of a digital world builder video. Uh, thank you. So for a little backstory, um, like most gamers, I grew up in love with the medium of video games. I was a big Mario, Sonic, and Street Fighter fan growing up. When I got to my senior year of high school, a recruiter from DeVry came to our classes and demoed a game one of the students had made where they basically reskinned Breakout with the Simpsons characters, um, the paddle being Homer's body, and the ball being a donut. That was really the first time I realized that I could make video games for a living. Uh, it could be a job and I could learn how to do it. Um, and after that, I uh, enrolled in DeVry's Game and Simulation Programming curriculum. Over the course of uh, the curriculum, I learned a ton, including how to write code for physics engines um, in games, how to build artificial intelligences that could move around and follow um, uh, a, a target around an area. We studied making music and art assets. Um, and all of that came together as uh, my team entered our senior project um, and created our uh, action RPG title, Shattered Ties, which uh, we designed in a, uh, over a four-month span. Having never written a single line of code before I entered the DeVry campus, um, a lot of that was really foundational for me um, and uh, helped establish me as I began my career six months after graduation and was hired to a small mobile game studio called Sabretooth Interactive, uh, which hired me as a junior UI engineer. It's been about nine years since I've worked uh, with Sabretooth, um, and since then, uh, my day-to-day -day tends to look pretty similar most days. Um, right now, the projects I mostly get hired for are augmented reality and virtual reality projects. Um, I also do uh, games work on the side and cater to my own side projects. I just launched my game, Galactic Bar Fight, on the Oculus Quest a few months ago, and am working on a pretty major update at the moment. I tend to work on multiple projects at once, and so um, it's always helpful in the morning to open up um, a task tracking software to refer back to. Um, the two I usually uh, have the opportunity to use are Trello, and um, at the moment I've been using Microsoft Azure's uh, Kanban board, but it's essentially the same thing as Jira. Both, uh, both organization tools help me stay organized and um, focus on what, to, what tasks to prioritize and figure out what is important for a specific project in this moment on this day. Um, after I uh, look at um, either Trello or Microsoft Azure, then usually I tend to open Unity, which is uh, my chief development tool. Um, when I first graduated from DeVry, it was primarily used as a tool just for mobile games, but over the years it's evolved into um, a tool that can support all sorts of content, including virtual reality and augmented reality projects. Um, and like I said, uh, that's kind of been a specialization for me the past few years. I've developed quite a few VR and AR projects, um, especially with my previous employer, uh, Relay Cars, um, where we created virtual showrooms in both augmented reality and virtual reality op applications. After opening Unity, there's usually a 90% chance I'll be writing code any given day, um, whether it's to build a feature out, um, fix a bug, set up a three-dimensional space, test building uh, AI pathfinding. Um, honestly, once I get into Unity, I rarely tend to do the same type of work two days in a row. Uh, for example, last week I was working on uh, a tool that would download 3D objects into our application from a web browser, and today I was hammering out code for creating saving and loading functionality, and also doing the data uploading pipeline at my current job um, at Third Coast Digital Solutions. Um, so I never really do the same thing too often um, any given day. Usually I try to front load my day with more complex tasks, um, and so the first four hours of my day I'll usually be coding and building out the more intense features um, and getting the heavier logic out of the way in the morning, and then in the afternoon focusing on fixing bugs, tweaking small things, or uh, implementing art and stuff that I don't need to think quite as hard about. 
Usually I'll finish my day by doing a few tests on whatever I was building that day. I'm running the scene so I can get a good mental image and sort of a mental bookmark as to where feature or how much of a task I've completed already. When it comes to projects like my indie game, I usually make a build, test whatever is new, and once again, just get a sense of where the project is, how much more work needs to be done in a specific area, and take stock of what has been finished already. And yeah, that just about wraps it up for uh, what my day-to-day -day tends to look like. Um, a special thanks to the staff and my fellow um, alumni at DeVry University campuses, um, particularly the Pomona and Long Beach campuses, uh, where I did a lot of my studying at. Um, special thanks to the many awesome professors I had, including Professor Randall Maines and Junior Gentles. I hope all the current students know that um, just like me, who started out just focusing on game programming and evolved with my industry into an XR development specialist, um, you may have a different career focus um, a decade from now, but DeVry is helping you to figure out where your career can at least start today. I hope for your success, and I'm so thankful for the privilege to share a day in my life with you, um, a day in the life of a digital world builder. Um, thank you, and good luck out there.